G'day Westy here, thanks for tuning in. We're going to do a quick tutorial on how to navigate and add in your little items into your screen for your um, sim. So I'm an ACC at the moment. Uh, I just want to go through a few of the free features here and what they do. So um, at the moment it's highlighted on accelerometer and you won't see that actually add into the one thing to note though, you've got to actually start the engine to, for these to show up. But we'll just we'll just click, so basically if we right click here, it highlights the screen. That will actually show on your screen now once you're actually running. So I've got, uh, let's just say, so if you want to access this stuff here, you click in the here and it highlights all this stuff so you can change the options your scale so how big and small it is um, opacity and all that sort of stuff so um, have it always on always off I don't know if that actually I'm not sure whether that works or not because I've had that on or off and it doesn't seem to make much difference so we can select it um, but you need to be running in um, uh, engine mode so basically go back to your game and go drive and only when you turn on the engine so all your ignition on so I've just got to hit my ignition switch now that's running there so we'll go into here um, and I need to turn this on and see if it shows up not too sure where it is Um, I can't see it there anywhere. That's weird. Ah, I need to turn this on here. So click, right click in here. And there it is there. So if you want to move that from the location on the left hand side there, as you can see. Click on this button. And it will highlight it. And then you can move it to somewhere else. Um, so... To be able to access this stuff again, you need to click in here, click on that, and access it here. But it's, see how it's turned it off? So you, know, you need to go back and right click on it to turn it back on again to get it on the screen. So this here, this window mode, this is actually for if you're running like a um, OBS or something like that, doing recordings, you can set it up as a, a, a window to find as an import into your screen. So when you're racing, can have none of these things that you select turn on but when you actually want to re-watch your um, video to learn uh, on how you know how you can progress your skills all that you can turn on and off the stuff in OBS um, import them as a media type etc um, I'll go into that if anybody's interested so let me know how to, if you if you're interested put a comment below and while we're on the subject thanks for watching and please like and subscribe that'd be great so you can turn this on here and off but we we should be able to see by just turning this on um, and for some reason oh there it is there it's over there on the left hand side so when you select this button you can see it and you can actually highlight over it but when you haven't got that uh, move arrow set up it won't do anything so but yeah there's some real cool stuff on here so i'll just turn that off um so what i normally run i run ecu maps so right click on that select it and right click it and show it Uh, where is that? Oh, there. There it is there. So it's, it's hard to see sometimes, so you've got to have a bit of a look around for it. So that tells you what ECU map, and if you've got your ECU map mapped onto a multi-toggle um, on your wheel, you can change through. I'm just turning the switch now. You can change through all the different types, and it actually tells you what each thing does. Um, it shows you 
uh, you know, the different, so there's, there's, so one is highest dry, highest aggressive, two, medium power, so this is like for managing fuel consumption, progressive throttle, and, um, and then we've got dry conditions again, four, five is your first wet, high power, medium fuel, lightly progressive, you got uh, wet, medium, low and progressive for fuel, low fuel consumption, and we've got low power and low fuel consumption and then lowest so that's for pace car and then nothing else on 9, 10, 11 or 12 and then just go back to one again so once you've got that set where you want it you can um, you can turn that off and leave that where it is so I usually run ECU maps electronics I tend not to run that but you can to do that if you want um, I run the input bars for throttle and um, and that's down here um, throttle and brake and then I also do input trace as well now input trace is a bit weird because it doesn't for some reason Oh, there it is there so you can set the thickness of your lines um, the, the height and width of the of your um, setup down here your scale like that makes it big or small um, opacity again how how clear or, or distant you want to see whether you want it to be able to see through it um, different brake colors and all that sort of stuff um, Steering input lines you can turn that on or off. Grid lines you can turn on or off. So it just goes straight. So, but this grid line is good for seeing your approximate um, percentage. Um, and yeah, your your line width, your line height, all that sort of stuff. Uh, so your width of the chart, and then you've got your line thickness. So you can put that back to like you know half or something. <clears throat> etc and once you're happy with it select it so that can turn it on and off actually if you have a look on the side here you click here and it turns it on or off and that's it over there on the left hand side um, and that's pretty much that's pretty much it so you can pretty much put on whatever you want you can also select it by different types you can go to like car and it gives you like damage you can do all that sort of stuff electronics fuel info tire info car info um, so you just right click on it to turn it on and we'll click on this to see where it is. Oh, it's up the top there. You can have that there. And you've got a. Yep. And that's pretty much, yeah, you just select what you want there. You can select different inputs like driving boost if you hover over them it tells you what they do uh, inputs um, <clears throat> steering gives you a steering little steering wheel to tell you which way it's going um, <laughs> pretty pretty self-explanatory really track you can have like a all the track corners named if you're trying to perfect each each section of a track you can pretty much figure out where that is it's at the top here on the left hand side let's have that there um, yeah so it, hopefully that gives you a bit of a oh there's another cool feature in here um, in the uh, settings area if you go into hardware you can see all the different steering angles of your car sometimes it sometimes can um, have the option to enable um, automatic steering hard lock which sets your software 
and the, the software in Aceta Corsa to match um, the correct wheel um, degrees. Um, so in my case, I'm running the Aston Martin V8, so it runs 640 degree rotation and I need to match that for, with my simulator software and the software in here which is pretty easy to set up you can just basically go uh, into into options um, controls and in here you can see the wheel wheel section here and you can set that up for whatever you want uh, for to match the thing and once you've got it sorted you save it override it and you're good to go so hopefully that's made a bit of a I don't know giving you a bit of a guideline anyway um, I noticed that I haven't got my th trace set up so I'll go back into here I need to I want to put on <clears throat> let's go to all uh, input trace now oh, why isn't it in there that's weird sometimes that gives a weird thing I'll um I'll just turn that on um yeah there it is it's come up now on the left hand side now just over here okay so that gives you a bit of a rundown um just just have a play with it um i don't know what all these features do um but yeah oh it's got a fuel calculator as well for ca calculating your fuel so you need to do a few laps and then go into here and load data from game but i'll do a separate tutorial on that once i figure out how to do it anyway hey thanks for tuning in and um like subscribe appreciate your feedback put some comments down there if you if you liked it or if you didn't like it or if you want to see something different um and as always thank you very much westy over and out